What can I say? That's why I always stay ready. Da, 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 da. Hey. Hey yo, what is going on my family? It is your boy B May. And look, today we're gonna be talking about future updates coming to Shinobi Life 2 this week and maybe a little bit further into, into the uh, into the future. But before we do that, look, before we do that, book block, if you see this video, bro, look, hear me out for a second. Please bring back Shinobi Origin, the like Shinobi Origin from Story, from Shinobi Story. Bring back the Origin 3 Life or Life Game Mode. Please, it will be so much better. In this game on the new game more you guys were talking about please i'm explaining more in the video so if you guys want to click on my put some time stamps please hear me out man don't rush that game mode this could be fire it could be really healthy for this game and i think it'd be something really fun please don't rush that game mode please hear me out you know what i'm saying listen listen to what you, the kid gotta say listen to what the boy gotta say you know what i'm saying it's coming i have time stamp and everything you know what i'm saying i'm gonna have it for you let's click on that part of the video and yeah let's get into it now look, we can talk about the new updates coming to the game and everything like that. We got like, we got two two things coming tomorrow and then two things coming Friday, and they hinted at a new game mode coming to the game as well. We're gonna talk about that all in this video. Before we do that, y'all know it. Y'all know what we gotta do. You know, so before we even get into, y'all know what we gotta do. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Rub them hands together like Birdman. Mm -hmm. Rub them hands together like Birdman and smack. Fire out the like button right now and roll to 300,000 subscribers. Go make sure you guys subscribe, man. Guys, guys. Right now, but look, um, there was a code recently that dropped, and I gotta make sure I get these codes, man. But if I don't make no video on the code, I don't drop. I don't be putting the codes in for myself. So look, we had a code drop. I think it was like yesterday or something like that. Look, trust in God. Boom. I don't know how many spins I got, but it was some spins that I didn't have. I was spins. I'll use the code, bro. You know what I'm saying? Use the code. Now, for the most major part of the video, I'm gonna put like some random gameplay or something in the background. We're not gonna be in the game, actually. I'm gonna head over to Twitter here in a second. We're gonna talk about some things, brainstorm, and just get our thoughts together. So, yeah, let's head over to Twitter right now. All right, my family, here we are at the tweet. So, this was the first one that started it all right here. So, this is what told us was gonna be coming. It says, Hawk summoning triple Rosh Shaman coming Tuesday or Wednesday. We down know it's gonna be tomorrow, Tuesday. And then it says Akamichi and Ninja Art um, KG 1010 specs on Friday. So right here we got the the Rosh Shaman right here, and we have the um, the the Hawk. So if any of you guys played um, Beyond, you guys probably have a good guess of how this is going to work you know Rashman, you just basically drop down i think it did like i think it was like a little stun it did some damage basically just, just a big slam down i don't think it's gonna be anything too special with it these are gonna be sub juices so we'll have to see and everything like that but i'm assuming you're gonna do slam down maybe do like a little stun a little quick little seal or something like that and do like some damage uh maybe block attacks as well like earth wall but um yeah we'll definitely see how the Rashman goes you know this is i never really understood Rashman in the anime to be honest but yeah it is what it is now um now the hawk summoning at first uh we're gonna be getting this it says it's gonna be a boss battle you guys see this tweet right here it says the hawk will be a boss battle definitely hyped about that it's gonna be like you know more than just finding a scroll it's gonna be a boss battle behind it definitely definitely um um that's that's nice to me but um basically uh for the hawk battle it's probably gonna be a spawn time maybe it's still probably gonna be on spawn time like kind of how like the the um the tail b star but at least you have to you actually got to fight the, the boss this time now we if we're gonna see in a later tweet that this is actually going to be a companion pet so at first i thought it was going to be something like you know like kamizura b that you just fly on or like um um garo sand that you just like it's like a, like a flight theme but we do now can assume it's going to be a companion kind of like how it was in beyond so basically in beyond you will summon it and it will kind of like just go off and like fight for you so that's definitely pretty dope i think it's the first companion you know they, they kind of like fights for you you know what i'm saying basically in all of the old games like the uh, beyond the companion uses the fight for you you know what i'm saying but now it just uses uh, the companions in this game just use a move but this time you guys remember beyond and beyond the hulk the the snake and even the toes they all you all summoned them and then they they fought for you so this one is going to have a health and it's going to go around fighting for you so that's definitely going to be pretty dope it's not just going to be like you just hop on it fly it'd be still cool if you could hop on it and fly on its well and it'll attack and stuff like that that'd be pretty dope we'll just see exactly what they have to do with that now coming right here this kg we're getting 10 10 specs um kg and this one actually kind of worries me i'm not gonna lie to you guys S specifically what we see in this photo right here now this is probably going to be the mode of the kg that's what i'm going to assume if you guys play shinobi story hold on one second all right my family my vault i am back 
So Tintin Specs and uh, Shinobi's story was pretty interesting, man. It was just like you. I'm gonna put some gameplay behind right now. You just like kind of like just your at once were kunai bullets that you just lasered and shot at somebody, and the whole Tintin fighting style tree was pretty crazy. So I, I'm gonna be expecting we're going to be getting some uh, some of these skills in the game um, for the, the the three skills that she's gonna get. Uh, or the 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 ninja scroll art KG is going to get. Now I'm, I'm not sure exactly which one they're going to do, but I'm assume we're going to get one of these right here. These one of these bad boys. So this is actually going to be pretty interesting, and I'm just curious to see how this works in this game. And you're just able to just laser somebody down with cool. Oh my god, man! And it was explosive kuna as well. You just shoot out a bunch. You got you're just a explosive kuna shooting machine gun. This is. This is kind of kind of worrying a little bit. Kind of got me nervous a little bit. Not going to lie to you guys. Got me nervous a little bit. We'll see exactly how it goes. And then we're going to be getting that Akamichi Fat Boy Clan. Yes, sir. Fat Boy's finally getting some love in this thing. God damn, about how we get into Akamichi. Obviously, for the mode, we're going to be getting the, the butterfly mode for sure, obviously. And then for um, the Jutsus, we are seeing like, we kind of showed off like the expanding. So probably going to get like, basically you roll like, you see like blow up and you roll around probably like Mrs. Puff. But we're probably gonna get like the the arm the, the arm expansion, so you're gonna get like a giant arm and just like a, like a, probably like a, a giant hook or something like that. And then for the last one, maybe like a stomp or something. I don't know exactly what we're gonna get. We just have to see about that. But we are gonna. Get, I'm, I'm assuming we're definitely gonna get the 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 um when he like blows up and rolls into a ball. And I'm assuming we're gonna get like the fist, the giant fist, the third move or the mode ability. We'll just have to see what happens with that. Now moving up here, um, is I want I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to this right here. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna come back to this. Um, listen, Snowy World. One giant map, no logs, no villagers, all PvP missions. If this post gets 1,000 likes, you know, uh, I'll know it's a good idea. You see, you got 7.7k likes. But we, I, I'm gonna talk. I'm coming back to this to this topic. I'm coming back to this topic. Stay with me. We're coming back to that because we need to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? We need to talk about this. Now, right here, you guys see it says 10,000 likes for Akamichi. It's actually got 12.12k likes. I didn't even like. I didn't even see this for myself. But like I said, we're definitely getting the butterfly mode. So, you know, all my all my fat boy Akamichi fans, we're definitely getting that. Now, um, this is what worries me as well. Like I said, we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to this. This really, really worries me. Um, we'll, we'll come back to it as well. And then right here says, here's some um, good Akamichi examples. You see the guys working on like the expansion or I don't really I don't know if this was it kind of looks like it's uh this doesn't look like it's actually a game it actually looks like photoshop but maybe it is a game i don't really know but like i said we're probably going to get that as well and then right here this this confirms that it's going to be uh summoning and that's going to fight for you basically says you see you guys see the help oh actually this could have been a boss i'm actually i'm actually wrong actually i'm thinking about this it's actually probably the boss that you fought i'm actually tripping it's actually the boss that you fight but i'm hoping that it actually fights for you and and not you just you ride it it actually looks pretty clean it looks pretty clean for show but I'm hoping it fights for you. I'm, I, I'm actually just clicked to me. I thought it was going to be confirmed that it was going to be a companion that fights. But um, yeah, we got to see. Hopefully, it's just not you right. Hopefully, it actually fights for you. We just have to see how that goes. Now, let's talk about this new game mode, guys. We got, we got to talk about this new game mode. You know what I'm saying? So right here, we, we read one more time. It says, listen, Shinobi World Game Mode. One giant map, no logs, no villages, all PvP missions, and blah, blah, blah. So um, basically, basically it's like an open mode CC version. Basically, what I'm saying, and the PvP missions in CC are pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's go up to this real quick before I get into. I got a lot to talk about. It, talk about with it. It says, Shinobi World Game Mode will use your RPG stacks. Most importantly, your mode bar will work differently. You'll be able to select your village and work with work work them as a team. The missions will be similar to the ones in CC, evolving only PvP. Now hear me, hear me out. This is where the issue becomes with me. I thought the idea was really good, but I honestly think they should go back to the Shinobi origin routes and from Shinobi story. I think it would be fit so good with this system, and I, I really hope they take their time with it and just throw this game mode out. And I really feel like this could be a game mode that a lot will bring a lot of more people back to the game, even though there's already a lot of players, but a lot of people who wanted this like a a. a the feel of actually fighting, the feel of actually having a chance to lose things and stuff like that. 
So basically what it's saying right here says, Snow B World Game Mode will use your RPG sets. Basically what they're saying is the PvP is still going to be using the best stuff. Everybody's going to be using Atachi, everybody's going to be using Hidans, everybody's using the most broken things. So PvP doesn't even tone down a little bit. CC PvP is so much more fun and so much more manageable because everybody doesn't have every broken thing in the game. So that's why I really wish that they wouldn't use your RPG stats. Another thing is, if, if I'm already max level, what's the thrill behind it going to play? If I already have my RPG stats, right? What's the point of me even playing it? You know what I'm saying? Why, why, why not just go auto click overnight for a farm? Why would I even go do this? What will be the will be, be even be the reason of doing these CC missions with these missions? Like, what will be the point of it if I'm already max level? A lot of people are already max level, so this it, it doesn't bring people back to the game. It doesn't. It's not a new game mode for people who's constantly playing the game. It, it, it's just not like it's. Just, you already got everything. Like, I, it's no point for me to play here. Obviously, the you select your village and work with this team. That sounds fun and everything like that. It'll be something to do, but it, it was, it's not going to be really rewarding if everybody already has everything. Everybody's already max level. It's, that's that's not going to be fun. To me, it's, it's honestly not going to be fun. Now, what I'm suggesting that they do, what I think will be an amazing idea, will be a fun idea, if they go back to like I said, in Shinobi Story, there was a game mode called Shinobi Origin. There was a, the Origin mode, the Origin game mode, right? And the Origin game mode was, in a sense, like it was like. It was like basically like an open version of CC. So basically you'll get three lives, right? You go into the game, you'll be able to pick a village. And within that village, you will roll a random clan. You can roll Chia, you can roll whatever it is, Hugo. You can roll whatever clan, you'll get a random, a random clan. And then you will get random elements as well. Now they already have this system for CC. You roll, roll into CC and you get a random clan and you get random elements. Or you get, a, you get an element that you choose from. That's why you can choose elements. And then there's also a chance for you to roll an elemental KG as well. Now they do this, right? They add this back into the game. Now there's an element sense. And now you can only level through um, PvP. It's going to be so much fun. Everybody has random things. Everybody's not using the most broken things. You got to just borrow RNG and get good. And I swear to God, that will be so much more fun. Now, I think it will be even more fun if they bring the live system back. Now, I know there's a lot of exploits in the game and they can potentially ruin that thing like that. I understand that's a, that's a possibility, but overall, I think the live thing was really fun. When, when, once you're playing with people and the, the, the chance of you losing everything, it's just fun. You know what I'm saying? You can take take, take people's progression, get progression. It's just so much more of a thrill. Like every every waking second in my life's on the line. I got to do these missions. I got to fight these people. I don't know who I'm going to see home, who's going to be there, who I got to go against. I'm always constantly having to fight these people. And I I think that thrill would be so much fun and shinobi origin in the origin game mode there's a couple issues obviously there was exploiters and the game was super laggy the map they couldn't handle but we are as being a cc player the game can handle it cc does get laggy sometimes but it can handle it We've, i've seen it for myself it, it can handle it and another thing was the missions in cc just wasn't it the missions in cc didn't really work properly i mean and not cc in um in origin mode wasn't all the way there they didn't have it all secure with the mission ideas but now but now they have it down they have a bunch of different missions that they can run the escorts the protects the 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 all different missions that they have and you can like execute yeah, execute missions and then you have intercept missions there's so much you can do and i promise it will be so much more fun i promise you it will be so much more fun um in this way please do not make it where you have your rpg stats that, that's that's gonna take out it's gonna sap all the extra fun if you just want to go to rpg stats go go play arena x you can play that's already arena x give us give us something different please do not rush to this game mode please 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 do not rush to this game mode i really think this could be a really fire fun different game mode and yeah it'll be a, like basically it's what, what you guys originally had planned for origin and it can work now it can it can work now it'll be amazing idea it'll be fun you don't have to add the live system i personally think the live system would be great but you don't have to add that i just think it would be such a good time i know a lot of people would agree with me that they think this would be a really 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 fun let me know what you got in the comments you got would you guys rather just have your rpg stats and go into it would you rather have a chance to like roll something different or roll something random you know meet new villagers and go on the missions and have a thrill it doesn't have to have a lot you guys let me know do you guys like lives or not um but it doesn't even have to have a lot of things i just think rolling random things and not having your all these broken things that you can just go use an rpg that you can go use in arena x um having a more toned down or more skilled based pvp and ranking system and leveling system i think it would be so much more fun it would be so much more thrilling and i think it would be such an enjoyable experience but that's just me guys that's just me guys if you guys want to see this idea make sure you guys tweet this to book and block you know what I'm saying? i really think this would be good for the game i think it'd be healthy and everything like that 
But that's just me, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully they see it. You know, who knows? We'll have to see it. But I'm going to catch you boys in my next one. Today's been your boy B-May. I'm signing out. Peace.